Hello everyone. Today we're going to use an animation tool called Brush Ninja. I want you to type that word right here in your search bar. Select enter. Once you have selected enter, go ahead and select this link here and go to create Brush Ninja. Now this tool is in two parts. Well, actually this video is in two parts, two quick parts. We're gonna share with you the drawing tool so that you can animate properly. On the left side, we have our brush. You're gonna select it. And on this side here toward this left side of your canvas, you have your sizes, small, medium, and large. To draw, you will simply have an inside and outside color choice. I like my color choices for my outside lines to be black. So as you can see here, it's already moved to black. When I create a circle, the inside is transparent or there's nothing there. When I want my inside color to change, I will simply select it and then select my inside color. Make sure that both pictures are selected so that you can see which one is going to happen for you. Our circle will be black on the outside. But as you watch, the color has changed on the inside. When you have finished working and practicing using these drawing tools, Go ahead and go all the way to the left side to the select tool. And you're going to select this group here and select delete or hit backspace. Now let's get ready to animate. We're gonna go back to our brushes, select it, scroll down just a little bit. My vision is to create a flower that is growing. I wanna start with two color choices my inside and my outside color will be green. At the bottom, you're going to see your animation tools. You have your onion skin, animation speed. You have your background. You also have your frames where you're going to add or duplicate. Let's take a look at how to begin. I'm going to make small lines after every small line, I'm going to add the plus sign here. I'm going to make a small line, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and select the onion skin. The reason is when I add a frame, I can still see my previous drawing to help me continue to make the animation or the illusion that something is growing. So I'm gonna go ahead and add and I'm going to keep going until my illusion has come to fruition. You can create any type of animation you want using the onion skin. It makes it so helpful so that you can see exactly your previous drawing or your previous image. Once you have done this for a couple of times, you're going to create what's called duplicate. And what do I mean by that? That means we're going to actually duplicate your initial drawing so that you will see it two or three times. So here I'm going to add, and then after I have finished this, I'm gonna to go to my duplicate drawing. So I'm going to go to the box here, right in the middle, and I'm gonna select duplicate. After I've done that, I'm going to change where I want petals for a flower. I'm gonna select my inside and my outside color. Once you have done that, make your shapes or your designs for your image that you like. and then go ahead and duplicate it here at the bottom. So I'm gonna select duplicate right here. 
You also can add other embellishments. For example, if you would like to highlight maybe the sun's rays, maybe you would like to draw rain, you can do that as well. The sky is the limit. But there's one more thing I want to add. Here, the third icon, we're gonna select it. This is where we're gonna select a background for our image. So I'm gonna go ahead and select search for image outline. And I wanna type the word grass. Press enter. And I want you to find the image that you like. This looks pretty good. I like this one already. I'm gonna select it. Scroll down and set as your background. Here, you're going to find this starter. So start your button.